And you'll see in this, uh, the opening pair, we have a Border Collie. Nine years old, believe it or not. Oh, well, actually, now, I'm just watching to see where they're about to start. On the far side, we've got Miranda Frankham and Chico with her Sheltie. No, she isn't. Tony Dawkins and Minx on the far side. That is a medium-sized dog, as we've seen. This is a Border Collie. This is Minx. It's a bitch. And it's take the wrong course. And the team are disqualified. This is tragic for them. They'll probably continue the course, but that means that they don't get a chance for the second dog to go. And there's no point in trying to explain what happened there because the dog just took a wrong line. And uh, the handler wasn't in the right place. I think I said earlier, you know, it's very much down to the handler. They're going to run the small dog, and this little dog is uh, Chico, the Sheltie, nine years old. Uh, Miranda Frankham from Milton Keynes with this little dog. It's going extremely well, but that was a very tight turn and back over the same jump. And these are very awkward turns, and it's dependent on the handler getting into the right position to draw the dog round. Back over that one again and nicely over the finish. It was a very nice run by the mini dog, but the team disqualified. Arthur cancelled that very early on. They went wrong on the seventh jump. They missed that one out. So now we come to our second pair. We have Gladys Toombs with Skip which is a little crossbreed terrier. This is counting as the medium-sized dog, the mixy dog. This is a little bitch called Skip, as I've said, eight years old. Skippy Bo Bounce. Seventh year competing here at Crofts with this little chap. Have fun, this little girl. Easy to get wrong, you know. Now then, see if we get the right course here. We've got to bring that dog across and round. That's correct, that's the correct course. No faults so far. This is a, a midi-sized dog, so these aren't the maximum jumps. And nicely round into the weave. They always must approach the weave as that little dog did from the right-hand side. And they're through, the baton's handed over. And so now it's Barbara Edlin with Tally, the Sheltie, seven years old. Beautifully done through the weave. And now, really, it's just a serious jumping competition. Do you get the course right? Very nice. These double round on themselves again. Well handled. Well handled, Barbara. This is tough for these little dogs. Very tight. Round. One more jump. And they've got to bring it round again. And back over the jump again. This is good handling. Great handling and a great finish. Very good indeed. They will be within the time limit. I haven't got the time on screen, so I can't tell you what it is. No, we haven't got the time. We'll have to get uh, details on the times later. We're not actually getting them at the moment. So now we're going with uh, Joe Tristan and Ellie, which is she's got a staffy cross again, a midi-sized dog. Six years old. This is another bitch, by the way. Joe comes from Blanford and Dorset. And they've managed that awkward little part of the course that our first dog failed on. Nicely round, over jump 11, back through the tunnel, coming round. Now watch the way into the weave. This is critical, and that's good. Very neatly done. Very neatly done. Through the tunnel, this is a good handover. I have no idea on the time. Chelsea now. Come on, Chelsea. Now, 20, 30 seconds, okay. Now I've got some yardstick to go by. No penalties so far. This is tight and round again. This is good. I take a ha I'd hazard a guess that this may be quicker than our last pair. Dawn Weaver and Chelsea, this little mini poodle, doing extremely well. The second one. Yes, it's clear. Clear in 50.92, and that's inside the time limit. Time limit of 55. They get time faults over 55 seconds. So that really is very good indeed. I've just heard that the uh, first, the second pair were also disqualified for a fault. And so that means we only have one time that registers so far. And that's it, 50.92, our last pair. And somebody's not going to be speaking to somebody, so now, we're going to go clear. So we're going to have Nancy with Neve going first, a four-year-old or a four-and-a-half-year-old border collie. And then Andy will be going with his two-year-old shelter. 
So our first dog here, Nancy Hudson. Neve is the pet name of the dog. It's a bitch called Brining Red Rascal, four and a half years old. It's a border collie. There's the second dog in the pair. This is a little Sheltie, Anoy Hudson with this. And the jumps have been raised, of course, this time because the Border Collie is a bigger dog than those that have been taking part in the uh, Maxi, or rather Mixy Mini pairs because you've got Maxi dogs, Midi dogs and Mini dogs. And there's a pair of, of two of those <laughs> in each group. So we've got uh, Nancy Hudson going here with Neve. Border Collies are usually the quickest dogs that we see over this. This isn't a particularly fast dog, but very neat. And precision is absolutely important. If you don't get it right, then you're never going to win. They love the weave, and they're very flexible. Look at that lovely body movement through and into the tongue. That's a clear half round so far. The time, 27. This is quicker. Oh, and they've made it. They've got a fault. Five-point five penalty there. That could seriously cost them. They were ahead. We're looking at uh, little Kizzy, this uh, two-year-old dog. Doing very well, but made a mistake into the weave, and that's going to cost them, I think. They're going to run possibly out of time, get time faults as well. Maybe not. Yes, yeah, just about, or oh, just out. They've got uh, 1.15 in time faults and a five-point penalty as well. Still just one in the lead. Here we go again. Now this time... I see this is our first dog off. going off there. Mr. Lee Broadhurst with his 10-year-old border collie. Nice jumping. That was very neat. And then there we come with this little uh, Sheltie. Well, now we come to our next uh, pair. We've got Lee Broadhurst going first with Oak, who's a border collie, 10-year-old dog, pilling light oak. There he goes. A dog, first one, isn't it? Uh, hometown Bedford here. Lee is actually a carpenter by trade. And his other hobby is magic. See where he can be magic on this course. Well, I'm seeing an elimination being put up there for this pair. Yes, this little dog is not <laughs> not doing terribly well. A little confused, but uh, Angela Caden is going to go. They can't set up a score. 50.92 is the time to beat, but it makes no difference because they're not going to be there. This is Tia. It's a mini poodle. Eight years old. They come from Colchester. These little mini poodles are quite quick. Most people have their outfits colour and colour coordinated. And just gone for hairdo as well. Well put on Angela. So next to go. So another elimination there means that we still only have one dog really with a serious score. 50.92, or rather one pair, I should say, and they were the third pair to go. And on this side we have Wendy for Sam with Cruz. We're now looking at uh, Wendy Fasson, no we're not, we're looking at, yes we are, Wendy Fasson and Cruz. This is a, a collie cross with a Jack Russell, believe it or not, five-year-old dog. They come from Crawley, just cruising is the name of the dog. Cruz is a rehomed uh, dog. Loves agility. Ooh, that was nearly a mistake. Got away with it. Got away with it. Oh, and the penalty. Knocked a bar down. Speed isn't everything. They are going quickly. They are going quickly. It's a good time. It's a very good time. But they have that five-point penalty. And Sassy, who's a... Uh, what have we got here? Well, this is the colleague Jack Russell Cross. I'm afraid I've given you some duff information there. Yes, Jack was the first dog that went through and got the penalties. So there's only five penalties on this pair. They're in the time limit, 52.35. They'll go into, uh, I think, uh, th they'll go into second place at the moment, but uh, we only have one clear round. That was Tracy well, Stephen, Jack, Sue, and Sue, Wendy Fassum, and Cruz. Sue, Sue, Sue is sassy. Oh, it's a 
six and a half year old working sheep dog. And working against it is Susie, oh, sorry, not against it. So now we come to Sue Shu with Sassy, working sheepdog, six and a half years old, from Swindon. This is a lovely bitch. Luna lights Sassy Lassie. Now, can we get a good clear round here? This dog always tries her best. Her second year at Crafts. As you're probably hearing the ring commentator say, uh, second year at Crofts for them. It's a great achievement to get here, and they're always proud to be here. But this is very accurate. Not bad time either. Deceptively quick. Deceptively quick. And a hand over there as we come to Susie Justy and Jack. It's a little crossbreed. 13 and a half years old, this little dog. Comes from Cardiff. A rescue dog. Believe it or not, this is the eighth time this dog has qualified to compete. This is a super little dog so and has a great record and they might just about get in here. Well, I think they're going to be in time faults, but they're clear with other faults. It's clear, but no, they've got time faults. 3.94 time faults on there. But that was a pretty good run. It was clear apart from that, so that's not bad. Not bad at all. That puts them in so second place, I think. Sue Ellis with a five-year-old working sheep dog. She'll be on the far side. And the so the large dog this next time is another working sheep dog with Sue Ellis from Flitwick in Bedfordshire. The dog's called Gus. Five years old. We Highland Gus is his full name. Sue owns four collies. She says Gus is very powerful, very competitive dog. He's very quick too. These dogs really enjoy agility. It is so much fun for them. And the fact that they bark on the way around adds a bit of liveliness to the ring there. Oh, crikey, nearly took all the weave poles out, but didn't make a mistake with them. And this is the quickest changeover we've seen. Quickest to the changeover as we come up with this little Shelty Dodger, Miranda Frankham from Milton Keynes. Second time they've been in the course. Disqualified the first time, Miranda, but not with this little dog. Five years old, little Dodger. Yes, they're going very well. This is quick. Are they going to beat 50.92? No, they're not. They're going to second place, 51.93. That'll put them just into second place. A terrific run. That little Shelty really went well there. That was lovely. Nearly was fast enough. Now we've got uh, Sue White on the far side, Rayan by request, with Mr Mercury, the border collie, lovely blue Merle, six years old, they come from West London, ooh, just kept it in there. When you've got a very enthusiastic dog like that, you've really got to keep it under control. But Sue managed to keep... Mr. Mercury under control. And they're uh, there or thereabouts. Still quick. Still quick. This is a good one. And a quick changeover. Uh, Tillia, Jack Russell Cross here. Mandy Sue Sarty with, from uh, Els Cone in Essex bringing this little dog around. This is somewhere between 13 and 14 years old. So it's another seriously old dog taking part here. Tear around Tilly is the full name. Tilly, the pet name. They've been doing agility well. Uh, Mandy Sue's been doing it for 14 years, and that's a goal. Oh, 51.55 puts him in third place. That is so close. My word. What, oh, I've just been hearing in the from the uh, ring uh, judge that, that that is third place. So we'll just have to wait for confirmation of that. Uh, putting him in second place, rather. And Carla White. And Joe Costello with the uh, border collie on the far side. And Carla White on the near side. Joy from uh, Bista. The dog's called Teal. Brining Time to Shine is the, the full kennel name of the dog. 
Little bitch, Border Collie, three years old. Good event this, because it's such a combination of large, medium and small dogs. This is a very on, deceptively... Oh, oh, no, no, no. Disqualification. What a shame. Oh, wrong course. So easy to get it wrong. Desperately hard to get it right. But well, they're going to hand over to Carla White, who's going to have a go anyway, with uh, Gucci. A little miniature poodle. Very keen. Look at this. I've said these mini poodles are very fast. And jumps so high, could get over the maxi jumps, I think. It's only Gucci's second time at Crufts, obviously enjoys it. Pity her partner's been uh, excluded. <laughs> team eliminated it was probably not a bad time that that was a lovely little run round that was super but uh, a disqualification <laughs> well this is really hotting up it's a good competition we have Nikki Keeler going first she's working Cruz which is a, who's a nine-year-old Belgian Shepherd dog Nikki Keeler on the far side with Cruz, and this is a Tavuran taking part. First one we had in the competition here. This is the Belgian Shepherd Dog, and it's taken the wrong course straight away. Oh dear, that's tragic. Just went straight out, not paying attention, not concentrating, a bit dreamy. They come from uh, Rawns in Northamptonshire, I think. Nine years old, this dog, but the uh, wrong course on the third jump, so... A disqualification for the team. So Cruz, actually nicely through there. Lovely, lovely dog, but wasn't concentrating. Now here we got Vino, also from Rawns. <clears throat> Den and Border Terrier Bino. Registered name of the dog is Spinny Ford. Oh, my word, this is quick. These borders can be, you know. And Den says it's the best dog I've ever known. I have no idea what Den's surname is. He hasn't written it down for me. Super little dog. Super little dog. No, you missed it. No, disqualified again. Well, they're both disqualified now. There we are. He's over the finish line. Well done. A double disqualification if it were possible, but it isn't. Right, next to go is Julie Docking with Star. Border Collie, six-year-old Border Collie. And she's paired with Angela Gaden, who's got another one of these. She's got a million dots. So Angela's out with Julie Docking on the far side well, with Rayanne Star Angela Quest. Angela Star is a Border Collie, six years old. They'll be going first. Star is a great agility oh, okay. lover. Well, aren't all these dogs, I think they are, you know. Tony makes a lot of noise. Come on then, Star, let's have a bit of noise. There's, there's a little bit from her. She says, this is another noisy run. It's yes, that'll do. That's, that's plenty of barking. All right, calm down, calm down. Lovely stuff. This is clear so far and neatly into the weave. And the time's fast. If they do a quick turn and round here, this is one of the quickest we've seen. They could be in the frame. As we watch uh, another miniature poodle, this is Whoopi with uh, Angela Carden from Colchester. Second time for them in the ring as well today. A five and a half year old. This is pretty good. They're going to be in the frame. They are going to be in the frame. 50.92 is the best time. They're not going to do that. No, they're going to be about third or fourth. But a good time, very nice, a good time indeed, but not good enough to win. So now, going on the big dog side, is Hilary Mayer with Woody, a three-year-old working sheep dog. She's paired with Kate Sutton. Woody, I love the name Woody for a dog, I've got one called Woody. The working sheep dog, three years uh, old. They come from Ridge in Hertfordshire. Hilary Meyer, Mr. Handler. And this is neat. This is neat. Good positioning, good positioning by the handler and good indications. The dog, the dog doesn't know where it's supposed to go. It has to be following what you're instructing it, but they're slow. 
I would have thought they were quite quick over that, but actually they're slow, they're way down. As we watch now, this is Fenn, a little Pomeranian. I mean, how many times you see Poms doing the children? It's brilliant. Kate Sutton from London with this little bitch, seven years old. Go, go, fantastic, full name. Those jumps are nearly too big for it, but manages beautifully. It's a rescue dog found wandering in the streets of London. Look at that, how anyone could abandon a little thing like that. Fabulous dog, look at this. They've done it clear, 59.02. They're not in the frame, but what a good run. They'll be very proud of that. Hi. Next pair to go is... Time faults, of course, over the 55, so, as I said, they couldn't be in the frame. Time, there. Six and a half year old working sheet. Nope. Now we've got Nicola Curtis from Russell, London with her dog, Jay, right, a working sheep dog again. Very common, of course, working sheep dogs in agility. They are probably the best. They are the quickest overall. This is a good event. I like these pairs of events. Six and a half years old, this one. Shady character. Second time in this competition. Very happy they are to be here again, I'm told. And uh, it's actually Nicola's first agility dog. So she's learned all she knows about agility here. And this is neat. Yes. It's interesting. You watch how they use body movements and turn the shoulder so the dog can make no mistake. But it did there. Dog must go in from that side, as you saw. From the right-hand side, it came in from the wrong side. Changeover. Slow changeover. Nicky Williams with Spud. Jack Russell, eight years old. Typical terrier. Sometimes he's good, sometimes he's not. He's having a good time out there. He's enjoying this. Look at him. Look at him go. Little spud. They're not going to be in the frame here. Too slow over the time limit. So they've got 5.05 uh, time faults. And we come to our last pairing. So that uh, original time of our third pair to go looks like holding on. Stuart Carter has a chance to come in here and change that. Agility champion Capia Conquest is actually called Storm Working Sheepdog. 12 years old in June. Stuart Carter comes from Walton on Thames. He says this is probably Storm's last run, definitely his last run at Crufts. Hart still wants to do it, but his body is saying he's had enough. Well, he won't overwork him. But these dogs are still keen. It's a matter of degrees that the dog says his body's had enough. Ooh, pay attention, Storm. Just pulled it back there. Now they'll need to speed up. This is good. Show him the way. Perfect. Bring him over and round. You can never touch the dog, but by your positioning, the dog knows where it's going. If it didn't, if you didn't do that positioning, then the dog will go the wrong way. It's as simple as that. Now, into the wave. Can they do this right? Yes, they can. It's slow. They're not going to be in the frame. But very nice doing the hand over there. <laughs> this little Cocker Spaniel going in for the uh, last run. Tassel, five years old, a working cocker. They're very small working cockers, you know. And this one is a tiny dog. Five years old, Lou Candy from Walton on Thames. You've done a good run. You've got time faults. You've got 2.78 time faults, so you're not going to win it. But my word, that was a pretty good attempt. It really was. Champion, Ellie In second place, we have Mandy Susati with Tero Tilly and Sue White with Rianne by with Weekly Quest. <laughs> Presentation's just taken place. And in third place, we have Miranda Frankham and Sue Ellis with Lyran Nightshift and Wee Highland Gus. Well done to you two. Congratulations to all the winners. Terrific competition. Thank you very much to Yukon Uber for their sponsorship.
Thank you very much to Martha for judging. Now it is lap of honour time.